So vocals, let's use here just the verse. And uh, maybe let's mute everything again, but the vocals. And let's focus here on this particular section. I know the season's ripe for change. It's changing all around. I know the reasons you've arranged. They're tearing me down. Where is the peacefulness of mine? So that's without anything on it. Where will my heart... And um, I used here on the first instance um, a cue where I made some corrections. Um, a low cut of 80 hertz that I do mostly on the vocals. Um, it's not that much much information down there on vocals that I'm really fond of and I want to like to keep. And I also heard a little bit of a ringing on the um, 2300 side here. Um, so let's listen to that, maybe. I know the season's ripe for change. It's changing all around. I know the reasons you've if arranged. It's tearing me down. Where is the peacefulness of mine? Where will my heart come back to life? And now again with... I know the season's ripe for change It's changing all around I know the reasons you've arranged They're tearing me down So, um, really cleans that up And I really like that And then I used a de esser on 7000 Hz Just to get rid of a little bit of the sharp I know the, the season's S's. ripe for change It's changing all around I know the reasons you've arranged. They're tearing me down. Okay. Where does the so the DS are from Waves and then two compressors in a row, the 2A and the 1176. Um, but I basically, and I think I also mentioned that in other videos that I've done, um, I really like to use um, two compressors on vocals um, where the first compressor just um, taps it slightly and the other one a little bit more. Um, it's a very good technique um, so you don't have one compressor doing very much compression so you can really hear the compression, hear the artifacts of it. Um, and so kind of like the first compressor help, helps the second compressor a little bit with that. So um, just reduces transients a little bit and then um, the main compression comes in of the second compressor. All right. I know the season's ripe for change. So the first is the 2A. It's changing all around. I know the reasons you've arranged. They're tearing me down. So just Where maximum 2 dB here, gain reduction. And then the Where other one. Where will my heart come back to life? There's quite a bit more. I know the season's ripe for change. It's changing all around. I and I used here um, slow attack and a faster release and um, went here with the pluri-revision, um, which is basically kind of like a preset of the vocals um, that you can find in the preset menu here, um, and just played a little bit around with the input-output setting. So again, without compression. I know the season's ripe for change. It's changing all around. I know the reasons you've arranged. They're tearing me down. Where is the peace? Okay, so classic. Um, CLA 76 sound and um, EQ wise I used here on the um, lead vocals on the verse and also on the chorus later on um, I used a little bit of a high-end boost 12,000 Hertz again also boosted a little bit around 4,000 and I reduced um, a little bit of around 200 220 um, just to get rid um, a little bit of the muddiness sounds like that I know the season's ripe for change. It's changing all around. I know the reasons you've arranged. So that's without the cue. They're tearing me down. Where is the peacefulness and of mine? Where will my heart come back to life? Okay. And now to top that off, um, I used um, in the box effects and also out of the box. And um, let's start with the in-the-box effects. The first one is the one-note driver here, which um, fattens up the vocals a little bit to get in a little bit of drive in there. And um, all the in-the-box effects now come 
as the same as with the chorus, for example, on the electric guitar on a stereo pair here, 21, 22, and I can plant in um, the in-the-box effects on the console. So, sounds like that. I know the season's ripe for change. It's changing all around. I know the reasons you've arranged. Yeah. It's tearing me down. Where is the peacefulness of mine? Okay, so it makes a little bit thicker. And a little bit, a little bit fuller sounding, actually. Um, next one is a doubler, and it's also with a doubler on four, vo uh, four voices and um, with two voices, um, kind of like a good old school harmonizer effect. Um, and as you can see, um, there's always a left and a right voice, um, which is tuned, for example, here on six and negative six. And the same goes here with the other four voices, six, negative 12. Then on the other side again, negative six and 12. So you have this alternating pitch um, of the different voices. And the concept is to make the vocals wider, um, but not kind of like a, a typical chorus -y effect, okay? So let's engage those. I know the season's ripe for change. It's changing all around. I know the reasons you've arranged. And without. It's tearing me down. Where is the peacefulness of mine? Where will my heart come back to life? I know the season's ripe for change. So it makes everything a little bit wider. And um, actually, together with the drive, um, all together a little fuller. And it really cuts through the mix. So let's hear now just the the vocals in the mix. So let's engage everything. I know the season's ripe for change. It's changing all around. I know the reasons you've arranged. It's tearing me down. Where is the peacefulness of mine? Without the box effects. I know the season's ripe for change. It's changing all around. Okay, so that's the in the box effects, and now um, I also used quite a bit of outboard effects um, with a Lisi's Lexicon MX200 and a TC Electronic M350. Um, again, this is the Elysis. I know the season's about to change. Okay. And I also used the outboard reverb and a little bit of a slapback, kind of like a delay. Sounds like that. So just the reverb. And to hit the slapback in solo. Let's use here the solo mode. I know the season's right for change. It's changing so all it's overemphasized. I know the reasons you've arranged. Kind of like had it here. Me down. Where is the peacefulness of mine? Again, with the reverb. Where will my heart come back to life? I know the season's right for change. It's changing all around. I know the reasons you've arranged the tearing me down. Where is the peacefulness of mine? So all the effects now off. I know the seasons about to change. It's changing all around. I know the reasons Bring it you've in. arranged the tearing me down. Where is the peacefulness of mine? Where will my heart come back to life? Okay, all right, so let's go now to the background vocals. Um, let's solo it here together with the lead vocals, um, maybe without any of the effects, first of all. I'm all right. As I pick up the pieces that are left in me, I'm all right. 
Okay. So what I did here is I used just one compressor, compressing quite a bit. I'm alright as I pick up the pieces that are left to me. I'm alright. Okay. Then DSA again, basically the same. I'm alright as I pick up the pieces that are left to me. I'm alright. As on the lead vocals. Peer away from you. And then channel EQ, um, where again, a low cut of 80 and I reduced here 7,900. There were quite some sharp S's that I wanna, wanted to reduce, especially when you have it with the lead vocals, um, so they don't stick I'm out too much. Right, as I pick up the pieces that are left to me, I'm all right. That's without. Away from you, and I'll be fine. Cleaning out the corner, putting back in. And then, um, before we go to the last um, plug-in here, EQ-wise, I boosted um, 12,000 hertz, um, quite much, 6 dB, and I reduced a little bit of 220. Sounds like that. I'm all right. As I pick up the pieces that are left of me, I'm all right. Without. Be away from you. And I'll be fine Cleaning out the corner Putting back in order yeah. But no, I will always Okay And now the last one um, Is a very, very cool plugin um, And I really like using that particular plugin The Real ATD from Waves um, Which is kind of like an old school ADD effect um, And I use that particularly for a kind of like a um, a fake stereo. It's a very good preset in here that you can change a little bit. And I basically just lower the rate here a little bit. It, I think it starts around 400 and I always use just um, 100 or 90 here. And it sounds really, really wide than the vocals. All right. So let's first of all disengage and then I'm going to bring it in. I'm all right. As I pick up the pieces that are left of me. I'm all right. I'll be fine Cleaning out the corner Put it back in order Alright, so really spreads them out um, It's a great effect I really like that plug-in um, And then again Just the one knob driver again Just to get in a little bit of a drive And of course um, Another harmonizer um, The double four again So let's bring also everything in here Let's just solo the background vocals. Um, first of all, without the in the box effects. I'm all right. As I pick up the pieces that are left of me, I'm now all with. right. Be away from you, and I'll be fine. Cleaning out the corner, putting back in order. Now. But no, I will always have this too. Little piece of you. I'm all right as I pick up the pieces that are left of me. I'm and that's all right. Okay. Be away from you. Um, again, basically the same uh, settings here as I did on the lead vocals. A little bit of a slapback and a little bit of a um, reverb. I'm all right as I pick up the pieces that are left of me. I'm Without. And I'll be fine. Cleaning up the corner, put it back in order. And but no, I will always have this suit. Okay. And that's basically um, now the vocals. Let's listen to them again in the mix. So let's unmute everything. Okay, so that's um, now all the different segments. So in all the lead vocals and the background vocals go again to a group, which is my vocal group for powering, compressing again. 
Um, I have the fMR RNC, another one for that, um, which is compressing again, same as on the drums, very um, heavily actually. So here is the second um, fMR unit. So let's play a little bit of the song. So we will now just the other compressor. So quite a bit of gain reduction here, 61, very fast attack, a little bit of a slower release, without. Let's put the vocals, the parallel vocals out. And of course, I also used a little bit of automation in there, um, especially on the electric guitars and on the lead vocals. So let's have a look there. Um, as you can see on the electric guitar, um, I pushed a little bit on the um, solo part, the volume a little bit up, um, just 2 dB here and also here and on the end. Um, so just to make it a little bit more shine on this particular part, of course, you can also automate, for example, the compressor or, or, or if you have a compressor inserted so you can just drive the makeup gain a little bit. Um, but I really like doing that just with the automation tool in Logic and on the vocals. I did a little bit more. Um, what I basically do is you can have it, if you have a console that has, for example, a MIDI control, you can use fader for that and um, write the fader as the vocal um, is playing. And um, you can also use, for example, a MIDI controller um, where you have faders or knobs, so you can use that. I basically just used the mouse. I'm quite okay with that already. You have to take some time to, to master that, um, but it works quite well. And as you can see, um, especially in the loud part, so that the um, compressor doesn't have to work that much, I pulled it everything a little bit down on the endings of words, pulled it a little bit up. And you do that basically on all the different sections here. Um, again, also on the um, lead vocals, on the chorus here. Again, for example, on this particular part where it's quiet, I pushed it up a little bit. And also here. And um, with automation, you, you can't really hear it, um, but it has a certain feeling, especially when a compressor and EQ is um, um, reacting to that um, so you can really make for example words that are a little bit quiet in the mix or a little bit muffled you can push them up and um, everything is clear to hear um, again also is the same for instruments like I did on the electric guitar for example so um, automation is a great part and um, let's get rid of that again and well let's go now to the mix bus so lastly, the mix bus, um, I have here a stereo track, which is called the mix down console. Um, it's basically the signal that goes from the console main mix out um, from the two bus into the converters, goes onto this track so I can print through the console all the different um, tracks and they are summed again here. Um, and they go out back into the console again on the two tracks so you can monitor it. Um, and I have two things in there. A, a, a plugin, which is the J37 here for some um, um, saturation. And I also have a mix bus compressor and EQ, which is the Tegela Audio Manufacture Dual Cream again. Um, very good sounding unit. So first of all, let's start here with the plugin. I went here with just the um, template here, which is called um, the Mastering High Frequency Smoothing Round Bottom. Um, I think it sounds the best here on the mix bus. I just um, reduced everything of the noise level and I used a little bit of saturation. Um, I think it starts with no saturation at all um, on the preset, so I just dialed in a little bit in there. Sounds like that. OK, 
Okay, so let's get out. So, um, very, very gentle, so you probably can't hear it quite good. Um, but um, it's there and it, it kind of makes everything a little bit smoother. Um, and as I said beforehand, I have also a master bus compressor. So let me show you what I did here. So here is the Tegula, um, the cream. I have here the EQ section, here is the compressor section. Um, I used a little bit of a low end bump of 100 hertz and a little bit more of 12,000 hertz. Um, here is on the setting of three. And as far as compressor goes, I used auto release, um, 30 milliseconds on the attack and ratio of 2 to 1. And we're compressing probably around 2 dB maximum here, 2.5 or something like that. I'm compressed in front of the EQ. So let's engage it. I know the reasons you've arranged the tap in the down. Where does the peacefulness of mine? Where will my heart come back to life? Now on the chorus you can hear a little bit more. Right. You can see it a little bit more. As I pick up the pieces that I've left in me, I'm alright. Yeah. Feel away from you. And I'll be fine. So that's the Tegula, um, really, really good sounding unit, can really recommend that. Now lastly, actually we want to hear how it sounds unprocessed and processed. So what we're going to do is we're going to disengage all the different plugins and also the output effects, EQs and compressors and so forth again. And then we're going to compare the rough mix um, to the um, processed mix. I'm going to print both of them and we're going to switch between those two, all right? So I disengaged now everything and let's name that track here for the print mix down console um, unprocessed. And then we're going to use another track, which is the mix down console processed. So I'm going to print now those two tracks the unprocessed and the processed one, and I'm back in a minute and we're going to compare them, all right? So here are now the two mixes. Um, one is the processed one and the top one is the unprocessed. And of course I boosted um, the unprocessed a little bit of 2 dB, so we have the same volume and we can compare them a little bit better. Um, I would say I'm going to switch now just between those two. We're going to um, start with the unprocessed and then we go to the processed and so forth, all right? So Enjoy. I know the seasons about to change, it's changing all around. So that's basically it. Um, I hope that it could give you a good overview of my approach to this mix. Um, there are literally a thousand different ways that you can mix a song depending on the panning, EQ-wise compression levels and so forth effects. So as I said in the beginning, um, in the link below, you can download the files um, of the song and try it yourself what you can actually do to the song. Uh, maybe post um, your mix in the comments, a link with that. And so we have a little conversation. You can also see um, what other guys are doing to the mix. And yeah, so as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you liked that video and you want to see more of that. 
and as always happy recordings and see you in the next video all right see you guys